All right, we are studying chapter number one, zoology, and uh, this is another holiday, zoology, fifth edition. And uh, later, uh, we'll discuss the chapters that are similar in every edition. So, th for the introduction, we have taken choosing this part. It's very concise. First of all, let's look at the meaning of the word zoology. And we know that zoology is derived from two Greek words, zoon and logos. And here zoon refers to the animals and logos means to study. So we see that zoology is the study of animals. It is one of the broadest fields in all of science because of the immense variety of animals and the complex processes that are occurring within them. For example, here we see that uh, we have 20,000 described species of bony fishes and a small animal like beetles also have over 300,000 described species. Now we need, there are so many number of species so we will divide the uh, overall species uh, into different kinds and we can say that there are one or more sub-disciplines of zoology in this way. Now, we, uh, the zoologist, in a different particular uh, subdiscipline, they may study a particular functional, structural, or ecological aspect, or one or more animal groups, or they may specialize in just a particular group of animals, and we can see that in the table 1.1 and 1.2, or we'll discuss them uh, later on. Like here, we see that if an animal, if a scientist, a zoologist is studying cytology, it means that it is studying just a soul. Uh, about more of about the cell and if we see uh, that um, entomology or ichthyology then entomologists are those who study just insect and ichthyologists that study fishes so we'll discuss them later on in detail uh, so here we see that uh, we can divide the zoology into sub-disciplines right now uh, example is given here and that is ichthyology now ichthyology as I told you earlier it is the study of what fishes and the ichthyologist will work to understand the structure, the function, and ecology and evolution of fishes. Now, there are different number of uh, species of animals that are present. For example, an example is given over here. And uh, if we can see, here we have a word that is sexoid. Yes, the word is sexoid is found in Africa. 1,000 species, Central and South America, 300 species, India, 3 species, and North America, 1 species. Members of this group have an enormous variety of color patterns, GUR 1.1, habitats, and body forms. Ichthyologists have described a wide variety of feeding habits in sigillids. These SH include algae scrapers, like arid modus that nip algae with chisel-like teeth, Insect pickers, like Tanganicotus, and scale eaters, like Perisotus. All sigillids have two pairs of jaws. The mouth jaws are used for scraping or nipping food, and the throat jaws are used for crushing or macerating food before it is swallowed. Many sigillids mouth brood their young. A female takes eggs into her mouth after the eggs are spawned. She then inhales sperm released by the male, and fertilization and development take place within the female's mouth. Even after the eggs hatch, young are taken back into the mouth of the female if danger threatens. Gur 1.2 Hundreds of variations in color pattern, body form, and behavior in this family of she's illustrate the remarkable diversity present in one relatively small branch of the animal kingdom. Zoologists are working around the world to understand. Now we are studying the examples of specializations in zoology. Number one, we'll discuss the subdiscipline and its description. For example, here we have the word anatomy. Now, anatomy is what? Anatomy is the study of the structure of entire organisms and their parts. So here we're going to study the structure of the organisms and their parts. Next is cytology. Here the word cyte refers to the cell. The study of the structure and function of what? The cells. Then we have ecology. Here eco ecology refers to the ecosystem. So ecology is the study of the interaction of organisms with their environment. Next is embryology. It is a study of the development of an animal from the fertilized egg to birth or hatching. 
means how the embryo will develop that is the study of the development of an animal from the fertilized egg to birth or hatching next is the genetics that's mean how everything is transmitted uh, here we say the study of the mechanism of transmission of traits from parents to offsprings or we say the study of inheritance that also genetics uh, histology is the study of tissues that's really easy and uh, here if you see uh, in the histology word you see TIS right it reverse in the reverse pattern so you can remember that what is histology is the study of tissues now molecular biology it is a study of subcellular details of animal structure and function or we can say that to study the animal at uh, by studying its structures at molecular level now parasitology as the word indicates is the study of the parasites and what are parasites that harms the body uh, harms the host so it is the study of animals that live in or other organisms at the expense of the host so this is basically the definition of the parasites that these are the animals that live in or another animal organisms at the expense of the host and their study is called as parasitology now physiology is a study of the functioning the study of the function of organisms and their parts and systematics the study of the classification of and evolutionary interrelationship among animal groups so in systematic basically we study the uh, classification like how we can classify animals and their evolutionary interrelationship and uh, here is uh, once again i'll repeat the major difference between two terms anatomy and physiology anatomy is about the structure cytology is about cell and ecology is about the interaction of organisms with the environment embryology is how the animal will develop from an um, fertilized egg to birth or hatching then genetics is about the study of inheritance histology is about the study of tissues and then parasitology it's about parasites physiology is about the functioning and systematics is the study of classification now here we have table 1.2 examples of specializations in zoology by taxonomic categories now for example if a zoologist is study insects that is called an entomologist and their subject is known as entomology so here number one is entomology and it is what it is the study of insects and then herpetology it is what it is the study of amphibians and reptiles and ichthyology, as I told you earlier, it is the study of fishes. And mammalogy, as the word indicates, it is the study of mammals. Ornithology is the study of birds. And protozoology is the study of what? Protozoa. That are animal like protists. So, this was all about the introduction, the basic introduction that is what is zoology and why uh, we have subdisciplines because there are a vast, num uh, vast number of species and uh, then uh, we study uh, the subdisciplines of uh, zoology and uh, also uh, their specialization according to their taxonomy categories and according to their specialization in zoology. So, here it is.